Pudsey's Great Fundraiser Pudsey was having his morning bath and trying to think of a new idea to raise money for BBC Children in Need. He had tried a sponsored run, but it was just too hot under all that fur. He had tried to host a knit a thon, but looking back, he could see that holding it in a cat cafe had been a huge mistake. He just couldn't decide what to try next. Pudsey splashed his little toy duck in and out of the water. That's it, he thought excitedly. I can set up a hooker duck stall where people can donate a little money to BBC Children in Need if they want to have a go. Before long, Pudsey had blown up his paddling pool and gathered all of his toy ducks. The only thing left to do was fill the pool with water. Pudsey turned on the water, but he didn't see the neighbour's puppy sneak from under the fence and grab the hose. They both tugged and tugged until finally the puppy let go. Pudsey went flying, still clinging onto the hose, and landed with a thud. This just isn't going to work, Pudsey thought to himself. Feeling soggy but not defeated, Pudsey headed to his friend Blush's house, hoping she would have a better idea. Blush scratched her head. Surely a cake sale would be much more successful. Together, they found all of the ingredients and set to work making some cakes. Pudsey went outside to find a good spot for the cake sale, leaving Blush to put the cakes in the oven and set the timer. While the cakes were cooking, Blush decided to tidy the kitchen. After a while, Pudsey came back in to help Blush with the washing up. This isn't meant to be in here, he thought. Pudsey rushed to check the cakes, but it was too late. The cakes were burnt. I can't sell these, thought Pudsey, but I'm sure the birds will like them. Blush helped him to put the cakes into a basket and they carried them off to the park. As they wondered, a duck started pecking at Pudsey's leg. He tried to walk away, but the pecking got worse as other birds joined in. Soon, Pudsey and Blush were surrounded by all sorts of birds who could smell the cakes inside the basket. Pudsey took a few steps back, trying to make enough space to hand the cakes out, but he stumbled on a rock and ended up tipping them all down himself. Pudsey was covered in cake crumbs. Just then, a band started to play and music floated through the air. Meanwhile, Pudsey was still leaping around the park as the hungry birds chased and pecked him. Finally, he brushed himself off and escaped onto the bandstand, leaving the birds to eat the cake crumbs on the floor. To his surprise, he could hear the sound of clapping. Pudsey looked around and saw a crowd had started to gather. Great dancing, Pudsey! shouted someone from the crowd. He must be fundraising! said another voice. That gave Blush an idea. She disappeared into the crowd to see if anyone would sponsor Pudsey to keep dancing. A little girl called Jamila was excited to help. I will donate some in my pocket money for every hour that he dances, she told Blush. Pudsey felt so happy that his fundraising was finally going well. He jived, spun and shimmied as more people came forward to sponsor him. A boy called Evan tugged on Blush's leg. I don't have any money, but please may I dance with Pudsey? He asked, eager to help in any way he could. Blush smiled and gave him a big thumbs up. Evan climbed up onto the bandstand and beckoned to the crowd to join in. Jamila stepped up to show off her moves and was quickly followed by others who were keen to dance too. Before long, Blush had a long list of sponsors, all enjoying the show. Pudsey was overcome with joy that his accidental dance had turned into a huge dance -a -thon and everyone was having a wonderful time. Hold on a second, said Jerome from the band. I think we could beat the record for the biggest group of dancers on a bandstand. 
he looked it up on his phone and had a quick count. We only need one more dancer, he announced. Pudsy caught Blush's eye and she knew just what to do. Blush ran over and climbed onto the stage. With one amazing move, the record was broken and everyone cheered. Pudsy and Blush smiled, knowing they had raised some money for BBC Children in Need while doing something they loved. What could you do to raise money for BBC Children in Need?